Language can be an obstruction in art. There are limits to expression, like how the Klingon language has no word for hello, but three for fight. Naturally, some enterprising musicians have avoided this problem altogether by simply inventing their own. I want to get Esperanto out of the way. The most famous constructed language with an estimated 2 million speakers worldwide, Esperanto was not invented by a band, but its ubiquity makes it a valuable starting point. Can the Esperanto Society be far behind? I mean, Sula Esperanto Societo Esti Multe Malantau? <sighs> L. L. Zamenhof published the first book describing Esperanto in 1887. Since then it appeared on signage in Charlie Chaplin's The Great Dictator as the theme in Final Fantasy XI. And as the sole language in the 1966 horror movie Incubus, starring William Shatner. And naturally, there are Esperanto bands. There's pop bands, and rock bands, and new agey bands, and more new agey bands, and ska bands. Sol Re Sol was an earlier constructed language invented by composer Francois Sodre in 1827. With only seven basic phonemes modeled after a musical scale, it can sound primitive? That is the balcony scene from Romeo and Juliet. Sore Sol can be spoken, sung, or painted, since each phoneme has its own corresponding color and musical note. But it was invented by a violinist who longed for universal communication, not by an indie band who wanted placement in an Apple commercial. Sigur Ross sing many of their somber post-rock mega jams in their own invented language of Valenska or Hopelandic, but it's basically just a scat version of their own native Icelandic. Unlike how the f Kobayan, Kobayan. Unlike Kobayan, Kobayan. Unlike Kobayan. Christian Vander and his band Magma invented Kobayan in order to narrate their 10 album millennial spanning prog rock tale of humans fleeing a destroyed earth and settling on an alien planet called Kobaya. <laughs> Admittedly, this is still basically just Slavic Germanic yodeling. More exciting than Enya's Loxian, though. Created by Enya's lyricist Roma Ryan, Loxian is, like Kobayan, intended to represent an alien language, albeit one with a much more chilled out, Cool mom, yoga studio vibe. Then there is the bizarre phenomena of Belgian Eurovision contestants and constructed language. Belgium has three official languages and Ishtar sing in none of them. Instead, their 2008 Eurovision Song Contest entry was sung in an imaginary language that most closely resembles Ukrainian. Five years earlier, another Belgian group placed second with this song. Urban Trad Sonomi came within two points of winning Eurovision in 2003. A curious side note, their singer was not allowed to participate in the contest because she might be a neo-Nazi. Here's another Esperanto band that aren't fascists.
Did I miss your favorite constructed language? Is it even fair to call these constructed languages when they don't have the grammar or semantics that we associate with traditional language? Let us know in the comments and be sure to subscribe for new episodes of This Exists every week. Geez Revito.